did you know you found your pot of gold? You hit the lottery. Everybody knows after the storm comes the rainbows. You hit the lottery. Finos. So today. I'm still drinking my coffee from the vlog this morning. So if you guys haven't seen the vlog on our couple channel, make sure you guys go check that out this morning. Um, but so today I'm going to be making salmon patties and kind of like seasoned potatoes. Um, Fitz really likes the salmon patties. Today will be my first time attempting to make them. I'm, it's, a, it's a fairly simple recipe, so I'm sure It'll be really simple. Um, in a second, I'm gonna go over to the kitchen and show you guys what I'm using because I pulled out most of the ingredients that I'm gonna use today. Um, so I'll show you individually what I'm using. So that way, if you wanted to make it along with me or if ever you wanna come back to this video, if you don't already know how to make salmon patties, um, you can always refer to this video. Fitz will be in and out of the video, kind of. He'll be in and out of the kitchen, kind of helping me um, periodically. I don't really need too much help with salmon patties, but I want him to be a part of the process, so I'm gonna try to include him as much as possible. Um, I'm, we're going to run to the store in a few minutes, so I'm not gonna start cooking right now, but I did want to let you guys know what I was cooking and show you my ingredients for today, and then we can just jump right into it. And then with, the, with this being a cooking channel, I don't want the intros to be too long. I just kinda wanna jump right into cooking. I wanna just tell you what I'm cooking, show you what I'm using, and I'll talk to you guys as I go. Um, and of course, Fitz will be a part of everything. Uh, so with that being said, I'm gonna jump over to the kitchen and show you guys what I'm using today. All right, Sino, so you're in the kitchen with me now. This is These are all the ingredients that I'm gonna be using today to cook. I have the salmon patties here, I have my breadcrumbs, I have all my seasonings from lemon pepper to Italian seasonings. I have my oil in the back. I have my eggs, onions, garlic, um, my bell pepper, um, my potatoes that I'm gonna slice up and dice up and season them and pop them in the oven so they can get nice and right. And so this is everything that I'm using today, guys. And as I go along, you will go along the journey with me. All right, so I'll see you guys in a few when I start cooking and getting the salmon ready. See those darlings, I'm back and I'm in the kitchen and this time Fitz is with me. He's the cameraman, say hi Fitz. Hola. Um, so I'm about to start making the salmon patties by taking the salmon out of the jar. Well, out of the can. Um, and then I'm gonna take the, the bones and the skin off. So yeah, give me one second, let me get this open. Some people keep some of the juices from the the salmon um, to mix into the salmon patties. I feel like that's more than enough. So I typically like to drain my juices up first. Um, so this is like the messy part of a salmon, of making salmon patties, right guys? As you can see, there's like a whole bunch of bones on the inside, like these things right here. You want to get as much of that out, as much of it out as possible, and then go through it, like break it apart more, and just try to like make sure you get all of that out. So what I want to do is slowly try to pull it apart without it breaking up on me. So I, you know what I'll do, so that way it's easier. I'll put a piece, that piece right there. And I'll try to like scrape this out. The last thing I want to do while I'm eating this is chew on a bone. Although salmon bones are very like, not really bones. They're like, I don't even know how to explain it. They're so soft. It smells good. It smells like tuna. It does smell like tuna. Um, yeah, and then you want to just like scrape the skin off as well. With this one, it's really easy to do because the skin is kind of already peeling off. So I'm just gonna try to scrape it as I go. 
and put it to the side. So that way, it's already done. All right, I still see a little bit of bone, but I wanna try to get this gunk out before it gets mixed into anything else. All right, so got a little bit of bone left, but nothing too crazy to where you'll taste it. Because remember, this is all gonna be like grounded up anyway. So that's fine. So now this big piece here is where it might get a little tricky. Because as you can see, there are like little pieces that are hiding. Do you see that? So we wanna try to get all of that out. I might waste a little bit of the salmon, guys, because I'm really picky with food. So don't judge me. <laughs> but hopefully, I'm able to get most of the bone and salmon apart from one another so I don't waste anything. My mom will probably kill me if she sees me wasting this. Sorry, I slid my finger for a quick second, guys. It's okay. <laughs> I'm sure they want to see you, so it's fine. Here's my hand. <laughs> Females, we're back. Okay, so I got most of the bones and skin. <laughs> Most of the bones and skin out, as you can see, it looks pretty just chunky at this point, which is a good look. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut up some of my other seasonings that I'm gonna use, which are, I have this piece of bell pepper, red bell pepper here. I have an onion, two pieces of, well, two garlic cloves, I guess you would call these. And um, I also have my egg and my breadcrumbs. So these are all my ingredients that I'm gonna to start to mix and blend now, and then I will add them to the fryer in a few minutes. When I say the fryer, I mean the frying pan. Sorry, I probably shouldn't have said the fryer. But um, all right, so give me a few seconds. I will get this mixed up, and once everything is all mixed, you will get to see. Ooh, it's making me cry. Ooh. You're not crying? No. I don't know. I need to make you cry. I need to make anybody else cry. I don't think you understood that. Comment down below if y'all cry when you cooking up. Cook it. It's had a positive. And negative impact on my life. If he's not the world's worst stutterer, the deer, the deer, the deer, the that's all, folks. Comment down below if you cry when you're dicing up onions. Guys, I'm not the best slicer, obviously, but I try to do my best and not cut myself, but also try to get the cuts that I'm looking for. Um, all right, so now I just have to do my garlic. Which garlic is fairly simple. You just want to slice it up to where it's like diced pieces. So that's fairly easy. I'm sorry. No, I'm gonna now cut them down the middle. Cause garlic is it's gonna like get um, cooked out but I'll cut them up just for your sake, your mental. I know you're probably gonna be like, oh no, I don't wanna taste chunks of garlic. Fitz is such a visual eater, it's crazy, guys. 
Um, that's the only reason I even slice it again because I know like now he's like thinking crazy. Um, so now I'm probably gonna end up doing that with some more stuff because I don't want him to think that about my onions. Mind you, if he wasn't in here recording, he wouldn't even like onions are fine. Have even noticed? You just wanna make them mince. Yeah, I can play with them a little. All right, they're good for me. Onions are good. I'm not gonna add my onions just yet, guys, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pre-cook my um. Sorry. I'm gonna pre-cook my my mixture here before I add them to my patties. All right, guys, so I just want this to cook really quickly. I'm gonna add some lemon pepper. And a splash of adobo. Mmm, it smells yummy. All right, let's get these patties formed and on the fire. So with salmon patties, you don't want it to be like a burger, but you also don't want it to be like a patty link, if you know what I'm saying. You know those like breakfast patty things? So I want it to be kind of like a flattened meatball, almost in a sense. So I feel like that's a good one. Let me know what you think. Um, and we're just gonna keep following that technique. So we press and kind of like roll as you go. And you press, you keep everything together. Kind of make it into a ball as much as you can and then you flatten it down. And you just kind of form it as best as you can. And remember, they're very moist still. And I didn't use a lot of you eggs. You can make them a little thicker. Okay. Bigger. I didn't use a lot of eggs and breadcrumbs um, purposely. That's I didn't want there to be too much going on with them. I, I really just wanted the ingredients to be basic for the video and in my stomach. Because sometimes when you add too much stuff, it just doesn't necessarily go down and agree with you well. I have a very sensitive stomach, me and Fitz. So I'm gonna make, start off with just four for now, just to get these on and popping on the grill, I mean on the stove and Darlings, it is time to get these potatoes on and pop it. So, first things first, head down, let's get this camera rolling. All right, so what I like to do with my potatoes, cut them down the middle, so that way I have a firm grip on these mugs. Down the middle, like so. Depending on what the butts look like, I might let them live. Thank you. 
right. So now we need to oil them up, season them up, and get them in the oven, right? So these butts are garbage. We're gonna push these to the side. Everything else goes in this beautiful white bowl. Cutting board in the sink, right? So now we just add a little bit of oil. Okay, that was probably about half a cup. Sorry, I should have measured that before, but I'm in a bit of a rush because like I said, salmon patties are on the stove. So we're gonna start off with a splash of lemon pepper, probably about a teaspoon. Paprika, as Fit says, for color, which I don't believe so. I think it has a lot of flavor. Um, that was a lot of paprika. Right, so we're gonna add, so that was about a, um, a teaspoon and a half of paprika. This is a teaspoon and a half of adobo. And then we're gonna do two taps of black pepper. Jump up to Mrs. Dash and do maybe three taps of that. Now these, can spread it out very evenly on this bad boy. Cover this up. That way we get some steaming happening. The oven is already set to 400. And let's pop them in. Right, now, salmon patties. Let's give them a little flip. Uh-oh, I'm nervous, it's my first time. Oh, they're a little, they're a little ready. But that's good, I want my salmon patties to have a little bit of color, a little bit of crunch. because it was getting a little hot in this kitchen. But these are the patties, they're all done. I put, I took them out the frying pan and put them on some paper towels so they could cool. And now I'm going to do a potato check and check on our potatoes. All right, let's get it popping. Ooh, this shit hot. All right, I started on this side. All right, now you see there's some stuff happening, they're nice and soft. All right, they're looking great. I probably should have put some non-stick spray now that I think about it, but hopefully the oil does the job. All right, darling, Spitz is over there editing, so I am going to pull the potatoes out of the oven really quickly. We have to, we have to bring the fan out, it's hot. All right, look at the potatoes. Ooh, check them out, check them out, check them out. All right, guys. Vinos, here we go. End result, salmon patties and seasoned potato slices. I'm super excited about the way they came out. This is literally my first time ever making this. I hope it's like them. He's a huge salmon patty fan. So I'm really, really banking on him being excited and really just going up for them. So drop a comment in the comment box below. Let us know how we did. How does it look? I wish you guys were here to taste it, but it looks and smells amazing. So I'm super excited. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Welcome to the new Life with Kino and Fitz cooking channel and make sure you guys like comment share subscribe and turn on your post notification bell so you'll be the first to know when we post new videos on our cooking channel females we love you we appreciate you and we'll see you next week bye guys
If you never had anyone to trust, I can assure you you can trust in us. Like when you calling on your best friend, I will be the loyalty you need to the end. Did you know you found your pot of gold? Yeah, it's a lottery. Everybody knows after the storm comes the rainbows. You hit the lottery.